Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. He's probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Look, come on, back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. end up with my car. He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Follow me. He's picking us off. Slow motherfuckers die first. He's all yours, boys. Here, over here. Yes, the whole group. He hit me. I'm boxed in. Help me out. Fuck me. Finally, we're alone. Let's dance, bitch. Fuck! Fuck, god damn it! The fuck? 
fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. It's not one thick, the fucking cops are on our ass. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! There, kiddo. Right will be over soon.
please! I didn't do nothing! You didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me! I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do! Nah, that fuck never liked me, I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey, why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus! He was worried you knew about the casino! And you were gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So, Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. But hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. 
Yeah. Lincoln Clay's still alive. Fuck me. Hey, Lincoln. <laughs> Running out of room to keep all this cash. Come back and I'll have more for you. It took stones to help me get my place back up and running. Thanks. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing. You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page of the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who... who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? 
How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did, some folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. What's the crack? I'm a man who wants... We've got a fair start here. We got a lot going on. But until Marcano is tits up in the ground, we're still stuck in the past. End the shit already. <laughs> 